Hey guys, it's going with Apple here, and today I just want to do a very, very quick overview of the Samsung Galaxy S3 that was just unveiled in London. I will be doing a more detailed, um, more accurate overview later on today, but here I'm just giving out all the information that was just unveiled. So, starting out with the processor, it does feature a quad-core Exynos processor featuring 1.4 GHz processing speeds, it does have 1 GB of built-in RAM, and a 4.8 inch 1280x720 AMOLED HD display, which is definitely very very high resolution at coming in just over 300 pixels per inch. It does have a front facing camera coming in at 1.3 megapixels with 720p HD video recording and a back facing camera that can take 8 megapixels pictures and 1080p video recording. It does also have Android 4.0 operating system and Samsung has added its own version of Siri to it and Moving on to the battery, which is one thing to point out, 2100 milliamps, which is a bit, quite a bit more than the average on the market right now, and it will come in 16, 32, or 64 gigabytes. Now moving along to the form factor, it is coming in at 8.6 millimeters and just 133 grams, which is very, very comparable in size to the new HEC One X that will be coming out soon in North America. The Samsung Galaxy S3 will be launching in 145 countries with 296 mobile operators and the 3G handset will be launched on the 27th of, 29th of May in Europe and the 30th of May in the UK. And the 4G version will hit North America, Japan, Korea, and June in June. And yeah, so it will come in two colors, blue and white. So overall, this is definitely something to check out. It does match up with quite a bit of um, new phones that are coming out from HEC and other carriers that will be releasing their phones later this year. Um, definitely a big competitor or something that Apple does have to look at um, for their release later this year. So that's pretty much it for this video guys, thanks for watching. Uh, please make sure you like the video, subscribe, and I will be doing a more detailed overview later on today.